Okay, we're going to do your border and title block. So you'll open up. This is for you people that are using auto, that you downloaded your Autodesk um, AutoCAD LT version. I know there might be a couple of you that got the full version. You guys probably have 2020 maybe. This is 2019. So you will see probably no difference whatsoever though. Let me grab this and move this over here. Okay, uh, you should see nothing right here. Okay, and you're gonna to wanna to click on this. Start drawing. And a little bit different than if you've seen the web app, your your, your version is uh, it's much better. You have a command prompt down here where you can type things. Doesn't really matter though, wherever you start typing um, will just show up and then whatever the command is will pop in down here, uh, over here. Um, again, all your commands, uh, icons up on top here. This is your drawing area. You can uh, scroll the wheel on your mouse to move in and out. That zooms in and out. To pan, you push down on the scroll wheel if you have one. You see a little hand pop up, and that grabs it and moves your screen around. So this is, uses the Cartesian coordinate system. You'll have the um, Y over here and the X over here, and your coordinates are 0, 0 right there where you see... Um, uh, the two of them intersect there, okay? So we are going to use Cartesian coordinate system, same same one you used uh, in, in math class there. Uh, that's what we use, and we are going to do some uh, coordinate inputs here. All right, to start with, um, let's see, we're going to go and click on line first. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can click on there, okay, or you can on your keyboard, you can hit L, enter, and a line pops up. You can see that down there. It's asking you for the first point. Well, I want my first point to be at 0.25. And I'm going to hit tab 0.25. I'm going to go up a quarter of an inch and over a quarter inch and then hit enter. Looks like it's right at the zero, but if we zoom way in, you can see we're a quarter inch off of this because we're doing our quarter inch border and title block. So I'll move this stuff out of our way so you can see a little bit better. And I'm going to draw perfectly straight. So it has this uh, object snaps and this polar tracking that's on here. It allows that line to click on right there. And it gives us, kind of, it's kind of like our T-square a little bit for us. Okay, right there. We want that on. So that way we know it's perfectly straight. Sometimes it may look a little bit straight, but it's not straight. Okay, in the world of CAD and computers, you've got to be sure we're all about precision, even more so now. Okay, so... You've got to be sure you're on that green line. And we're going to make this one 10.5. So type in 10.5, hit enter. Now we're going to go perfectly straight up. And we're going to go up uh, 0.5. I'll explain that in a few minutes why we only went up that high. And now the rest of the way, we're going to go perfectly straight up 7. 7 and enter. We're going to go to our left. Lock that. Oops, my mouse is moving around. Lock that one into place, so we're going to go 10.5. Then we're going to go down, perfectly straight, 7. Then we get down to the end here, and you can do one of two things. I'm zooming in. You can click onto the end. If you see that green box pop up, that is end point. You saw end point just pop up on my screen down there. That's an object snap. We're going to delve more into object snaps, and basically it clicks or locks on to whatever the uh, icon or object snap is. In this case, we can lock on to the end point of this line, which is what I want. So I could just go straight down like this a little bit over and type in 0.5 and it would get right to that point. Or I know that I can click onto that end point right there, click with left click with my mouse button and I'm locked in there. Okay, to get out of the line command, I can right click and hit enter. I could hit enter on my keyboard or I could hit escape, okay? So now we've made our border around what would be our paper. Okay, so here's our, our border that goes around here. Next, we're going to put uh, the top of the title block on here. Now, we can do that by clicking on line again, and we can find the endpoint of those two segments that we made. So there it is down there. Now you see another icon pop up down there. I'll explain that one in a second. But I want to... Oops. I'm going to lock into either this endpoint or what you see right there. That's the midpoint. So AutoCAD will find the exact center or middle of a line for you, which that comes into use. 
Okay, if you have that feature turned on, that object snap turned on, you may not have that turned on yet. Um, I go over object snaps in another drawing. Uh, but I want the endpoint right there. I'm going to click on right there. Come on a little bit and get all the way over to that endpoint right there. Click. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to divide this box up a little bit. Okay, just like we do in... Um, uh, on our drawings, I'm going to use this icon right here, which is called Offset. Okay, I'm going to click on Offset. Now, what Offset does is Offset copies a line and then places it a certain distance or offset away from our original line, whatever we're copying. And in this instance, I want it to be 3. And now it's going to ask me, what, what do you want to copy? I want to copy this little segment right here. That's why we made it just um, a half inch. If not, it would be this whole solid line right here. It would copy the whole thing. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to copy this one. And I can see you can see I can place it on this side. Or I can place it on this side of the line. See, that's out over there in the middle of nowhere. But I want it to be right there. So I click. I'm going to do it again. Click here. Again. Okay. And then I click Enter. Now I need more, so I'm going to do Offset. I'm going to tell it I want it to be 2 this time. Click here. Put it over there. Hit escape. I'm going to do offset one more time. I want it to be 1.75. I'm going to copy this guy. Put him over there. And there's my last box right there. Right click. Enter. So there's my border and title block. Guidelines. We need guidelines. So let's use offset. And let's put them... Uh, here, instead of using decimals, uh, 3 slash 16. It recognizes 3 sixteenths. Okay, and I'm going to click on this one. Put it down like that. Click on the bottom one. Up like that. Enter. There's my border and title block with guidelines even on here now. Now, there's some fancy things we can do. Like, I can go and take this whole line, and I can change its color and say, let's make it a dark uh, bluish color there so that Real difficult to see. And I can put this one on here and say, hey, let's make it that bluish color too. So now my guidelines are a little bit different color. They stand out a little bit different. Okay, next we're going to fill in information for it. Not done yet. Almost done, not done. We're going to do text. We're just going to make a box anywhere. Okay, inside that box, we are going to say that it is going to say AutoCAD. Oops. Drawing one. And let's say that I want it to be 0.25. No, no. One, two. I want to five. Okay. Click down here. Still made a point two. It's annoying. And go in here. Place it on here. I want to. And We'll click on this guy again. Why aren't you making yourself 0.125? There we go. Now I'll click on it. Grab this blue little box there to grab it. It snaps over there, but we can just grab it and slide it over to our middle right there. Okay. So again, we can do text again. So the box here. We'll do name. I want it to be, sorry, I'm supposed to highlight, I think. I want it to be 0.125. Move Sadowski down here. You're not going to put my name. You're going to put your name on there. Right, let's do another one. This is eight. It'd probably be easier to do 12. Oops. 12. 20. Highlight it. Uh, 1 8. The beauty of this is as we're doing this, you are not going to have to do this every single time, which is such a great thing. Some people are going to love about this. Uh, and then we're going to put your hour. Because. 
once we're done here, I'm going to show you just how you edit it. You kind of probably already saw. Click on that, grab our blue arrow. Now it clicks over there. That We could get rid of that by turning on off the object snaps, but uh, I don't want to do that because then I want to turn back on. So we'll say one. So it seems tedious right now, but we fill all this out. Once we fill it out, all we're going to have to do then is edit this thing. That is a finished border and title block. Okay. Now, once you open one of these up, we're going to save as border title block in a minute. Actually, let's do that right now. So we'll go up here to where you see the little disc with the pencil on it. Save as. Now, on your computer somewhere. Okay, you're going to make a folder, all right? Make a folder and call it, okay, uh, close your eyes, Sal. He's going to go through some of my auto drafting curriculum, that's at least drafting. Okay, make one that says technical drawing like this. Then in your technical drawing, say three view drawings. Okay, don't say assignment sheets. Those are mine. Three view drawings, okay? So you'll go in there. And we're going to save this thing down the file name right down here. Call it border and title block. Okay. And once you do that, you're going to click save. And then your border and title block will, I'll put it in there. Who cares? Save. Then what should happen is up here, you should see it say border and title block right on there. And then you are done. Now you'll open a new one of these, and then when you open your new one for number two, all you'll have to do is go down on here, and whatever the title of it is, you double-click on here, then you can edit it. Say if it's called two, it's called two. Okay, if it's a different date, hey, we're in a different date now. Sadowski, we can do, you can do, it's uh, 16, okay? And then, oh, we're on drawing two now. You just click two. And then you're off and ready to start drawing on your border and title lock here. Only thing is, don't click save or quick save or anything else. You're going to do a save as and you have to rename it. Otherwise, you're going to be deleting this original border and title block all the time. And you have to make a new one. Or you have to delete everything off here and change this stuff all the time, which gets a really annoying. Okay, Instead of just opening up a new one every single time. Okay, so that's how we do our border and title block um, in regular AutoCAD LT.